Hey everyone, turns out I decided to check out the M4 MacBook Airs. First thing I'm testing is League of Legends, which is getting the new metal update. And if you go into the settings, you could choose automatic or metal. So this is kind of the old setting that got good performance there. So we'll be doing the typical test showcasing iPhone uh, as a secondary app and then recording with QuickTime. I'd stopped recording with OBS to get better performance. Essentially with the metal settings, it gets around 200 frames per second. Now keep in mind that this is running at the fullest resolution um, that the MacBook has available, not the desktop friendly version. And also keep in mind that this is, uh, the MacBook Air has a 60 frames per second refresh rate. So you could really just, if you're playing on the MacBook, lock down the frames per second to 60 fps and you'll probably get better heat management though in my opinion i don't think that the back of air throttles that much one thing i do want to call out here is that i get a steady 25 milliseconds ping though this was a game that i searched for aram my teammates seem to think that this was a bot match as they kind of were super bad and really easy to kind of beat. Similar to the previous versions I had recorded on the MacBook Air, the M2 MacBook Air, the M3 MacBook Air, this M4 MacBook Air runs this game pretty well. Um, yeah, not too much to say from a uh, version by version perspective. I'd say you probably, uh, if you have an M1 MacBook Air, could update this if you got the base model to now have a 16 gigabyte RAM model. Um, I just don't know too much. It's an enjoyable experience. Also on Windows, I feel like it runs well. I know that I compare Dota 2 and I always complain that on the Windows version, there's some lag and stuff of that nature. But I'm thinking I am able to kind of solve that by deleting the cloud save. We'll get into that in my Dota video. But overall, I'll say that um, as an overall machine, I am using the in input microphone from this actual recording where I typically use a Rode mic. I think it sounds pretty good for this video. I am also using voice isolation. So just again to clarify, we're running at the full retina resolution. We also have all the settings on high. And at this settings, now that League of Legends has been updated to use metal as an option, you could do this in a configuration setting, but now it gives you through the settings probably get around 120 frames per second at least in ARAM and I expect this to be also in the regular um, Summoner's Rift version as well. So if you've watched any of my other videos I really just test out showcasing how the device does. Uh, you know as long as I'm getting above 60 frames per second from my gaming competitive standpoint I think that's pretty good. I'm still able to get double kills here and obviously I haven't played League of Legends in a while um, but I think even if these might end up being bots so i think the response time was good nothing like you know an obvious drastic change between windows version and the mac version where there's input lag and stuff of that nature uh, i think that it's 100 percent playable on league of legends if this is one of the games you want to play and also keep in mind compared to the other right games valorant doesn't work because of anti-cheat um, so at least if you if this is your main game you play i highly recommend Maybe if you're coming from the M1 MacBook Air or M2 MacBook Air, that this could be a decent upgrade. Uh, 16 gigabytes will probably set you up for the next five years or something to that effect. So yeah, short and quick video. Game runs well as it did with all the other MacBook versions. Now that you have 16 gigabytes RAM, you can expect to get stable play rates. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions on this game or any other games you want me to test on the MacBook Air. See you guys in the next video.